as it relates to kingdom and my long-term thinking, in order to shift a culture, shift a culture or shift a society, I would say that it takes about 40 years to do that. As kingdom citizens, as men and women of faith, are we willing to take the next 40 years and create a massive amount of educational content, a media hub for the lost, because we were once lost and found, right? Are we willing to take the extra steps in our business, even with those clients that paid us once, and so there's no incentive, there's no financial incentive for you to continue to serve that client once the job is done, especially like in the real estate space, like once the deal is done, it's done, right? Or if I'm in landscaping, or if I'm a realtor, or if I'm a, a financial consultant, insurance agent, once you sell a policy, done. It's up to the client to retain that policy. It's up to them, right? But if we can take the extra steps to, to say, hey, hey, Benjamin, how, how would you like to uh, just record 30-minute conversation? It does ha not have to do anything with selling or anything. I just want to talk about your experience, work with me, what it's been like. I'd like to get your testimony, right? And I just want to preserve that, that video, that, that content, because when your daughter, Jaira, Deborah, and um, what's your older son's name? Christian. Christian. Like when they get older, they, they can see how you were thinking and what you were planning on protecting in terms of estate planning, legacy planning for them so that when you're long gone, they can still hear your voice. They can, they can capture those moments of how you were operating in debt and then when you became debt free and then when you became a multimillionaire and so on and so on. Like imagine, imagine that, right? And there's no financial incentive, but I, I can argue there will, there will come favor and there will be a shift in the culture, in the community that you create with your clients. So if we can go above and beyond with the leads that you acquire, the prospects that turn into actual paying customers. Let's develop systems that can create community. Community is one of the, the most efficient ways today I would argue to retain clients. So everyone in this room, my community is the Finance Geek Ministry, right? And we do the Ecclesia gatherings twice a month. Does everyone in this room show up to those meetings? Not everyone, but from time to time, it's, a, it's an opportunity for me to let you know, hey, I'm still here, hey, I'm still here, hey, I'm still here, right? So that when a crisis comes, I, can, I as the business owner can still be available ready to serve you, right? Available and want to go the distance with you. Like, can, this will be more personal. If anybody would like to uh, share from the time of connecting with me up until this point, meeting me in person right now, has there ever been a financial crisis in, in your life? Like it was going good and then it went down and okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm pretty sure when it came to the transaction of, of working with me, it was before the crisis, right? And then we're implementing the strategies and we're doing the right things. And then when the crisis occurred, was there a drop in communication, be totally honest? No, no. Who else said, who else had their hand raised? What was that, did you raise your hand? Over here? We haven't communicated yeah, that much. Well, I know there's some, some people that are on the virtual right now and others that catch the recording where there has been a dip in communication. And you know, that happens I think because we're, we go back into fear, right? Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna tell Denzel that I just took out this loan and he told me not to do that. And I went ahead and did it. And I didn't call him to go over the numbers to help me make a decision because for whatever reason. So there's definitely times where that happens. There's a dip in, in communication. Then what happens, they get so low in that crisis that they're like forced to reach back out, right? And we recover, yeah? But if I was one of those financial coaches that it's, it's okay, you're down here. Well, we, we, my fee is this, right? We, we did this. We put the blueprint together. We put the plan together. That's your fault that you went into the financial crisis, right? So being able to, again, take the extra steps as it relates to the, the clients that you serve, going the extra mile, I think will pay not only infinite amount of dividends, 
but that favor part comes in and I think the shift in how we do business as kingdom business owners, as kingdom business entrepreneurs, where we set a new standard in the industry doesn't have to be cutthroat, right? It doesn't have to be, right? We don't have to create that environment. We don't have to acclimate. We don't have to acquiesce to their rules when the, their rules are coming from the ruler, right? The, the one who rules above all things. They're, they've created their own rules, but not even realizing that a piece of that came from the ruler, and then they made it that it serves them and them only, right? Versus in, in our system, we, we can build the type of structures that, again, shift the culture, shift the society.